Chairman Steve Leisman, CNBC. Can you talk about how you factor in uh, the variable lags on inflation and the extent to which um, the outlook for rates should be seen as linear in the sense that you keep raising rates? Or can you envision a time when there's a pause to uh, kind of look at what has been wrought in the economy from the rate increases? Thank you. Sure. So, um, of course, monetary policy does, does famously work with long and variable lags. Uh, the way I think of it is our, our policy decisions affect financial conditions immediately. In fact, financial conditions have usually been affected well before we actually announce our decisions. Then changes in financial conditions begin to affect uh, act economic activity fairly quickly, within a few months. But it's likely to take some time um, uh, to see the full, full effects of changing financial conditions on inflation. So we are, we are very much mindful for that. And that's why I noted in my, in my opening remarks that at some point, as the stance of policy tightens further, it will become appropriate to slow the pace of rate hikes while we assess how our cumulative policy adjustments are affecting the economy and inflation. So that's how we think about that. Your second question, sorry, was? Is there a point in time you can see pausing? Is it linear that you keep raising rates, or is there? Oh, I'm sorry. I should know better than to not talk with my microphone. Um, I should know better than to answer your second question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, is it linear? Do you keep raising rates, or is there a pause that you could envision where you kind of figure out uh, what, what has happened to the economy and give uh, time to catch up uh, in the real economy, the, the rate increase is time to catch up in the real economy. Thank you. So, so I think, I think it's, it's very hard to say with the precise certainty the way this is going to unfold. As I mentioned, what we think we need to do and should do is to move our policy rate to a restrictive level that's restrictive enough to bring inflation down to 2 percent, where we have confidence of that. And what you see in the SEP numbers is people's views as of, as of today, as of this meeting, as to the, the kind of levels that will be appropriate. Now, those, 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 will, those will evolve over time. And I think we'll, we'll, um, we'll just have to, to see how that goes. I, I, th there is a possibility, certainly, that we would go to, go to a certain level that we've, we're confident in and, and stay there for a time. Um, but we're not at that level. Clearly today, we're, you know, we're just... Uh, we, we've just moved, I think, probably into the very, the very lowest level that, of what might be restrictive. And, and certainly in my view and in the view of the committee, there's, uh, there's uh, a ways to go. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.